I always was planning on trying to lose about a pound and a half of what body weight a week. What's up? Can you come here? さあ今日はナチュラルの減量の考え方見ていきましょう。さあ減量、体重を落としましょう、脂肪を落としましょうっていう時にいろんな考え方、やり方が出てくると思います。今回はナチュラルオリンピア初代チャンピオンのジョン・ハンセンさんの減量の考え方を見ていきましょう今回ジョンさんが教えてくれるのは減量の基礎基本の考え方を教えてくれますこの考え方をベースに持っておくといろんなやり方を耳にした時より細かく理解がしやすいと思いますでは早速見ていきましょうどうぞ I got some tips about getting cut up for a bodybuilding competition.、Uh, the first tip I can give you is I always give myself enough time to diet. When I was competing at my, at my peak, I always believed in bulking up a little bit. So sometimes I would get up to 240 pounds. So I always gave myself enough time to get ready for the show. I always was planning on trying to lose about a pound and a half of what body weight a week or a quarter of an inch off my waist each week. So, if I needed to lose 20 pounds, I would have to give myself enough time to diet. So, I've dieted for competitions as long as 16, even 20 weeks. And being a natural bodybuilder, it's always important to lose that weight slowly because you don't want to lose muscle, you only want to lose fat. So, it's a long, slow process. So, I will eat enough calories while I'll just slowly lose the weight. You have to find out what your maintenance level is and then just eat a little bit below that. So, I'm always eating enough protein. And enough carbohydrates, aiming to lose about a pound and a half a week and losing about a quarter of an inch a week off my waist. So every four weeks, I should be losing an inch off my waist. And I always have a target date and a target、uh, measurement of what I want my waist to look like in order for, to be in peak shape for the competition. This is John Hansen for CriticalBench.com. Talking about the natural bodybuilding diet. Uh, some tips I can give you is first of all, I always eat six meals a day. I usually eat every three hours I'm having a meal.、Um, I always have a complete form of protein each meal. So that's chicken, fish, turkey, egg whites, or a protein drink. It's a complete form of protein that has all the essential amino acids in it.、Um, Another thing I could tell you about is、uh, carbohydrates. I'm not a low carbohydrate guy. I usually eat a lot of carbohydrates, but I make sure the carbohydrates I eat are complex carbs that are digested slowly and they have a lot of fiber in them. They give you a sustained form of energy and they fill up your muscle cells with glycogen. So it's important to distinguish between complex carbs and simple carbs. Simple carbs are digested very quickly and can be converted into fat very easily. So I try to stay away from those. But I also have a post workout drink every time I work out. And the post workout drink is high in simple carbs because that post workout drink, those carbohydrates are going to go directly into the muscle cells. After a workout, your muscle cells should be depleted of glycogen and it's starving for, those, for that sugar. So if you have a post workout drink that's high in simple sugars, those simple sugars will be converted into glycogen in the muscle cells immediately. So that's very important. I always have that drink immediately after I get done working out. Usually I'm drinking it as I'm walking to my car after the workout. So, how did you do it? 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 この2つのテーマが一番大事かなと思います明確な到達目標を決めてそれに合わせて途中経過が予定通り進んでいるのかどうか確実に最終目標を達成するためにはとても大事なことなんですねそして炭水化物の使い分け動画内では食材については言ってませんでしたが例えば複合炭水化物でいうとさつまいもオートミール玄米などが含まれますすごく雑に簡単に考えると食物繊維が多い炭水化物が複合炭水化物だと思ってもらえると理解しやすいかなと思いますそしてトレーニング後に単純炭水化物を摂るこれはドリンクで摂るって言っていたのでデキストリンという形で摂るのがいいと思います商品としてはこんなものがありますクラスターデキストリンとマルトデキストリンになりますどちらも単純炭水化物で吸収が早いんですが CD クラスターデキストリンはより吸収が早くなりますマルトデキストリンでも十分吸収は早いので僕はトレーニング中にクラスターデキストリントレーニング後にマルトデキストリンというふうに使い分けていましたそして僕は減量中でもトレーニング中はクラスターデキストリン 20g 
トレーニング後にはマルトデキストリン 30g は飲むようにしていました1日の総摂取カロリーを落としていてもこうやってトレーニング中トレーニング後とエネルギー源であるデキストリン糖質炭水化物を入れてあげることによって回復は早くなるしトレーニングもパワフルに行うことができますこの考え方基礎基本に持っておくと他のダイエット法だったり減量法もよりスムーズに考えが入っていくんじゃないかなと思いますみんなは何を大事に減量を進めていますかコメント欄で教えてください動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた